In this video, we are going to dive in into the world of acrylic inks and explore the techniques that you need to know before creating stunning abstract art. Let's get started. Without further ado, let's discuss the first technique. This is where we will simply pour the ink into a wet surface and let the gravity do its work. This technique is great for creating organic, free-flowing shapes. Layering is where we add another layer of paint on an existing layer and this is especially useful when we are trying to use blowing technique or it is also useful when we want to give vibrancy to the painting. Layering technique can also be used to add depth to the painting. Acrylic inks are great for allowing the blending to happen on the surface. Here you can see I am allowing the blending to happen on my surface. For more control, we can use a dropper, drop small amounts of ink and watch them spread naturally or we can use a technique called scrappy toe where we scratch into the layers of ink. Once our ink is semi-dry, we can use either a palette knife or a comb or even a toothpick like how I'm using now to carve out lines and shapes. This adds a nice contrast to the fluidity of the ink giving your piece more structure. As we all know, palette knife is an extremely versatile tool. Palette knife can be used to spread paint when it comes to acrylic inks and it can also be used to guide the direction of the paint flow on the paper. For something truly unique, try adding drops of rubbing alcohol to wet ink. The alcohol repels the ink creating these beautiful almost cellular textures. You can experiment with how much alcohol you want to use to create different textures. Splattering is a wonderful technique to add some drama and to add interest in your painting. You can use a palette knife for splattering paint or you can also use a paint brush to do this. Using a variety of mediums can be a wonderful addition to the techniques with acrylic inks. Here I'm using a palette knife and a soft pastel to gently scratch off a little bit of pigment on my painting. And I'm also using a water spray to allow the blending of soft pastel to happen with the acrylic inks. Please note that acrylic inks over here is not completely dry, it's semi-dry so it will hold on to the soft pastel pigment powder. Other than this, we can also use acrylic paints, we can also use crayons and we can also use a lot of other media to add more of texture and interest to our painting. I hope you enjoyed this short video and do like and subscribe if you would like to see more of my art and tips. Thank you so much for watching this video.